Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another learning video. This is the first video of PharmaPill channel in 2023. So before starting the journey of learning in 2023, we have decided to take a look at the pharma in 2022. Or I can say that what were the top GMP updates of 2022. So in next 10 minutes, we will learn about the top GMP updates of 2022, which all the pharma professionals who are working in the regulatory plants should be aware of. So without any further delay, let's get started. In January 2022, revised journal chapter number 2.1.7 of European Pharmacopoeia was made effective. And the title of the European Pharmacopoeia journal chapter number 2.1.7 is Balances for the Analytical Purposes. So, well, friends, weighing is one of the most common but the most critical activity in a laboratory. And the smallest weighing error can affect the accuracy of the results. So this revised journal chapter number 2.1.7 has given a brief overview about the principles of the balances and recommendations on their installation and use. Along with this revised journal chapter number 2.1.7 has also given a brief information about the good weighing practices. In January 2022, Arvindo Pharma was the first Indian company to get the warning letter from the US FDA. Well friends, Dolta Vad API Unit 1 of the Arvindo Pharma located at the Hyderabad was issued warning letter in the January 2022. Unit 1 was inspected in August 2021 and warning letter was issued in the January 2022. As per the warning letter, there were significant deviations from current good manufacturing practices for the API. In May 2022, US FDA revised its 16-year-old guideline of outer specification results. The updated guideline came up with the minor editorial changes from the 2006 version. If you compare 2006 and 2022 guideline document, then you will find that in 2022, US FDA has tried to clarify the concepts of the outlier results and they have provided additional information on averaging results from the same final sample preparation. Along with this, revised version of the guideline has also replaced the term quality control unit with the quality unit. In May 2022, a new USP Journal Chapter 1220 was made effective. And the title of the USP Journal Chapter 1220 is Analytical Procedure Life Cycle. This journal chapter talks about the validation activities which takes place across entire life cycle of an analytical procedure and provides a framework for the implementation of the life cycle approach. So all those who are working in the analytical research and development department, they should know about this newly added USP journal chapter 1220. Well friends, this journal chapter was first time published by USP in November 2021. What it was made effective from May 2022. Now comes the one of the biggest update of the year 2022. So guys, 11th version of the European Pharmacopoeia was made available from July 2022. And the latest edition consists of uh, updated monographs which have been already implemented from 1st of Jan 2023. Let me tell you some of the key facts about the European Pharmacopoeia. So guys, 11th edition of the European Pharmacopoeia contains 2469 monographs including doses forms. 386 journal texts including journal monographs and the methods of analysis and more than 2800 descriptions of the reagents. And one more important point you can remember about the European Pharmacopoeia that European Pharmacopoeia is revised after every three years. In July 2022, EDQM European Directorate for the Quality of the Medicines and the Healthcare has published the revised journal chapter 2.2.46 and the title of this journal chapter is Chromatographic Separation Techniques. The revised chapter is now available in the 11th edition of the European Pharmacopoeia. This journal chapter applies to the chromatographic procedures and supplements the journal chapters on thin layer chromatography 2.2.7 Gas Chromatography 2.2.28, Liquid Chromatography 2.2.29 and the Size Exclusion Chromatography 2.2.30. So this was the biggest update of 2022 for all those who are working in the chromatographic section. So guys, in July 2022, ISPE has released the second edition of the GAMP 5 guideline. 
those who don't know gam5 is a globally accepted standard for the validation of the computerized systems and the full form of the gam is good automated manufacturing practice isp publishes this guideline and the full form of the isp is international society for the pharmaceutical engineering those who want the revised version of the gam5 second edition guideline they can get it from the isp website In July 2022 ninth edition of the Indian Pharmacopoeia was released for those who don't know Indian Pharmacopoeia is published by the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission on the behalf of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to fulfill the requirements of Drug and Cosmetic Act 1940 In 2022 European GMP Annexer 1 was revised and published For those who don't know an exer one of the European GMP is a guideline for the manufacturing of sterile medicinal products. So guys this guideline was published in August 2022 and it will be made effective from 25th of August 2023 which means all the injectable facilities which are manufacturing injectables for the European countries they need to fulfill the requirements mentioned in the exer one of the European GMP from August 2023. Like 2021 there was a lot of buzz about the nitrosamine impurities in 2022 as well. So guys in August 2022 European Medicines Agency extended its deadline for the submission of the variations from 26th of September to 1st of October 2023. In September 2022 US FDA has issued warning letter to the Lupin Pharma Tarapur API facility. US FDA has found manufacturing lapses which include failure to establish adequate written procedures for the cleaning of the equipment and failure to investigate all the critical deviations. So guys Tarapur API facility was inspected from 22nd of March to 4th of April 2022 and they were issued four observations by the US FDA. In October 2022 US FDA has published the draft guideline related to the size, shape and other physical attributes of the generic tablets and the capsules. As we all know that the tablet and the capsules are widely manufactured and prescribed and provide a number of advantages over the other doses forms including ease of storage, portability, ease of administration and accuracy in the dosing. So well friends all those who are working in the R&D and deals with the formulation development for them this guideline is going to be very very important by reading this guideline you will come to know that what are the FDA's current expectations on the generic drugs physical attributes In November 2022 US FDA has issued warning letter to the Glenmark Pharmaceuticals. So guys FDA found lapses in the laboratory control systems and the batch manufacturing records. This warning letter was issued to the Goa facility and this plant was inspected from 12th of May to 20th of May 2022. Guys 2022 was ended with the issuance of the warning letter to India's largest generic drug maker that is none other than the Sun Pharma. So guys in December 2022 US FDA has issued warning letter to Sun Pharma Halol facility during the inspection auditors found significant violations of the current good manufacturing practices US FDA has inspected Sun Pharma Halol facility from 26th of April to 9th of May 2022 and they were issued 10 observations In December 2022 FDA has published the data for the fiscal year 2022 from october 2021 to september 2022 according to this data total 466 form 483s were issued till september 2022 if you see the trend for the form 483s then you will come to know that for the fiscal year 2019 total 779 form 483s were issued whereas for the year 2020 total 349 form 483s were issued whereas for the year 2021 total 215 form 483s were issued whereas for the year 2022 total 466 form 483s were issued till september 2022 so guys these were the top gmp updates of year 2022 which every pharma professional who is working in the regulatory environment should be aware of lastly i am attaching all the links in the description that will give you all the data which i have presented in this video You can check those links and study them for the better clarity. Hope you have found this attempt from the Pharma Pill channel helpful. 
with this note i would like to wrap up for now see you soon in the next video till then bye bye and happy learning